can't hear anything yet because I didn't say anything yet. Okay, now I'm talking. And I'm coughing, sorry. <coughs> <coughs> Crazy wind today. It's stirring up my allergies. Not nice. It's supposed to be winter. I'm not supposed to have allergies in the winter. Anywho. Hello. Hello. Oh, I'm at home. This is not my shop. No, I'm at home. I decided tonight that I did not want to go back out in the cold, so I'm staying at home. Hello. I hope you guys are all at home and staying warm. Hey, Anne, how are you? Um, thank you for watching. Uh, yes, it's January 18th. Dead of winter, right? Halfway through the month. Um, what else? Oh, Martin Luther King Day. Happy Martin Luther King Day. I hope you all were able to celebrate somehow. When I used to run the boys and girls clubs down in Texas, when I was in a couple of them, we would make it a day of um, a community service. And so we would have the kids do different stuff around the um, whatever town we were in and do different community service projects. It was kind of fun. Gave back, a day of giving back. Um, and uh, today, what did we do? Hey, Terry, how are you? Um, <clears throat> thank you for watching. I hope Josh had a good birthday. Uh, today, Ann and I worked in the shop and um, we uh, did a home visit. So we'll be getting some more jewelry and purses and a few pieces of furniture. Hey, Tammy. Um, thank you for getting mom the video. And uh, so we did a home visit and also last week was kind of weird because uh, we sold oodles of furniture, which as we are a furniture, home decor, and uh, women's fashion boutique. You want to sell a lot of furniture, but it's weird when it happens. Um, we had had a week before that where we barely were selling anything, and then this week we sold a bunch of furniture. So we have a bunch of empty spots. So if anybody has furniture, specifically smaller pieces, uh, bistro tables, uh, small bookshelves, um, let's see ones, love seats, those do well. <clears throat> um, Cool mid-century modern, pretty much anything mid-century modern sells. Uh, kitchen islands, we've had a few requests for those. Dressers do well, desks do well. So if you have any of those things, please call us, 355-5979, and we will talk to you about when you can bring it in. Um, but yeah, I have some actual room for breathing in the shop, so that's kind of nice. I like to have a cram pack full of things, but um, it's nice having a little space. Anyway. Um, my friend Tommy uh, always helps me do different things <laughs> with the pricing. Holly, hey, how are you? Um, and uh, Tammy helped me price some more of an estate that we've had that we've been slowly but surely bringing out. And uh, we're bringing out jewelry tonight. So because it's a month to Valentine's, and some people buy things for their loved ones, um, friends, best friends, girlfriends, whatever. Um, I was going to do jewelry because you might even want to buy a piece. And I was thinking about it because I've had people say, I have too much jewelry. And I want to say sometimes that, no, there's no such thing. But <laughs> there is too much jewelry. But what I like to think about, though, is the reason why you have so much is because over time you have had great deals. You have been buying at different places. You have been in different occasions where someone gave you something and um, you just collected it and you keep the things you like and they all have sentimental value. And the stuff that we have here, you know, have a good vibe. You know, the person who had it bought it for a reason. And um, hey, Lane, we haven't seen you in a while. Um, <clears throat> and I hope you're doing well. Thank you for watching. But you always get a good vibe off this stuff, and um, we wanted to show you some of it. And I guess one of the things I wanted to express was that you can buy very expensive jewelry. You can. It's out there. Couches. We need couches, Lane. Yes, we do. I think right now I have one couch, and I have, well, let's take this back. I have one couch. I have a couch slash love seat. It's a little bit too wide for a love seat for me, but it's actually a sleeper sofa, but it's leather. It's gorgeous. And we have one that's a two recliner electric thing. And so they're all online. So whenever we get furniture, everything goes straight to our website. So you can see it from the comfort of your home. And then if you ever like anything and you're not able to get into the shop, call us and we'll put it on hold for you for about three to five days. So you can come and see it. Anyway, <clears throat> back to my story. So 
you can buy all kinds of jewelry and spend lots of money and it's always nice when you spend lots of money right um, but I think some of my best gifts or my coolest things are the little trinkety things that doesn't cost a lot of money or I got a great deal on and it's just for fun and to me sparkly the better you know something just kind of yowzy why wear boring jewelry wear something sparkly a couple of the people that we get stuff from, you're like, this was a wild chick. She liked to wear cool stuff, big and bold, and it's a lot of fun. I need one, two, looking for the blue or red. I have a light blue one lane. <clears throat> it is a longer, lower couch, but it's a good price. So look on website. You should see it. If you don't, I will make sure it's there. Okay. So the jewelry I was going to show you is things you can make into gifts. You can make it to, um, I was thinking about it, we got Valentine's coming up. We would have prom coming up, but I doubt we're going to have prom again this year. Um, we have confirmations and first communions, possibly, um, and birthdays, spring birthdays, right? So um, these are gifts that I think you could give to somebody you're not sure about what they like. It's just fun and sparkly. Um, and especially if you're giving something to, let's say, a younger girl who you're not sure if she knows how to save stuff, because ask my mom. She'd find my jewelry in the weirdest spots when I was a kid. Now I keep good care of it, but when I was a kid, I'd just like, oh, put it here. It makes sense in the tree by the tree house I had. <clears throat> and then four months later, find it in there, and you're like, oh, that's where it is. Okay. Anyway, these are great gifts. They're fun. They're not so expensive. You could mail them to somebody and not be out a lot of money. So we have a few vintage um, hair uh, combs. And these are inlaid with uh, Mother of Pearl, abalone, Mother of Pearl. Um, I think some have a little bit of um, shell, just regular shells in them. Some will have a little turquoise. But we have a few of these. And they're not that expensive, about seven to five to seven dollars for one, okay? Um, <clears throat> we have another one. So we have two of each, I think. This one's kind of fun. It has a little flower in it. And they would hold. If you pinned your hair up, I was thinking about it. I pin my hair up now all the time, and this would just slide right in. It would be kind of fun. Or brooches are always fun. Valentine's is heart-shaped things. And you can. the nice thing about secondhand is you find something unique. If you were to go into, let's say, Macy's or Dillard's or something, you'd see one and then 10 more. And so this way, when you go to my shop, you only see one. So nobody else has one. Anyway, this is a very cool brooch. It's a lopsided heart and the um, butterfly is made out of shell. So it is very pretty. I want to say abalone. It could be something else, but it's really cool. Very unique. So if you like some, someone likes to put them on their blazers, they like to put them on their scarves, their jackets. I always buy Tammy and mom something around different holidays. They always buy me stuff around holidays. Some of the um, costume pieces, the fun pieces, the not expensive pieces that we have are Southwesty, um, but we have this really cool set. So this is reconstituted turquoise. Okay, that's when they take all the little findings, little smushy things, stick them all together and make different beads. It's a beautiful necklace. It's a lot of fun, be great for summer. Um, and it comes with earrings. And the earrings are really cute little dangly earrings. So that might be an idea if you like the Southwest flair or you're sending it to someone who likes Southwest. This is cool. It's vintage. It is um, uh, liquid metal beads, three strands, and these are little white shell um, bird fetishes. Very pretty, not very expensive. Um, it would polish up nice. I have not polished it with a polishing cloth, but it would polish up very nice. Okay. And what's cool is we got another one, never seen this before, in gold tone. This has five strands, and it's gold tone. But the cool thing is, and I don't know if you can see it, so this is, to me, screaming 80s, but it has little chips of turquoise in it. Kind of cool. And the reason why it screams 80s, is the style of earring that I see. So it's liquid silver, uh, liquid metal. They're gold um, tone, and the loop matches the loops on the necklace. So that's a cool one. You can also go vintage. <clears throat> I like vintage. I know you guys know that about me, but I do. I like vintage. I think the earrings I have on are vintage. Um, so 
they, way back when, you could get Bakelite stuff like that, but vintage could also be like the 60s and 70s when they did plastic or glass. Now these are multifaceted clear um, beads. It's about an 18 inch chain, okay, maybe a little longer. Um, they're fun, they're sparkly, they'll catch the color of anything you're wearing. And this pair actually has some earrings that go with it. So it'd be cool. Fun, summer, whatever, longer, with a sweater, looks great, picks up the color. This one's neat. <clears throat> um, our friend Marsha, she helps me because she's been doing jewelry for a long time. And she will tell me when I have something of interest or value and she'll help me out. So these are Aurora Borealis um, crystals. And you can tell because they catch all the colors. And they are so cool. So these have round disc, varied, um, um, graduated sizes down to a teardrop one. It's on a gold tone chain. It's almost a choker, I would say. It'd be cute on a little girl, maybe. And then it comes with these great earrings. The other thing it would be great for is if someone actually is planning a prom or planning a wedding at some point and they want to wear something vintagey, this would be fun. And it would not be that expensive. I know everybody says, your wedding, you remember everything. How many of us have had a wedding and you're like, I struggled and stressed about everything and don't remember most of it? Yeah. Jewelry, part of it. Don't spend a lot. Find something cool at a secondhand shop. Um, this one's cool. I like these things. This reminds me of my Grandma Kelly. Anyway, um, yes, I have a Grandma Kelly, but her last name was Kelly, not first name. Um, anyway, oh no, I guess it was Kelly Gustafson. Anyway, <laughs> long story that I am way off track. So sorry. Anyway, she did bling. She loved bling. She helped with a playhouse in town where she lived and she would dress up and she had the most sequined bedazzled dresses ever and she looked stunning and she'd wear all this jewelry. Well, this is kind of art deco-y. It's the rhinestone set in silver um, tone uh, settings and it's about choker size, but it's so cute and it is very vintage. Anyway, you can do that. All very vintagey, kind of a flair, kind of a style, but nobody else will have one like it. Um, similar to that is this, which I think is more along the 80s and 90s. This is cool. It's double strand. It's a little bit longer, which is nice. I don't really like chokers. But the beads are either multifaceted silver tone or the other every other one has crystals in them. Very sparkly, very shiny, lightweight, not too heavy. Should not irritate your skin too much, that I don't think. Um, but that's kind of a cool necklace. Then we went through, in this particular estate, we finally found uh, chains with charms. And so they're pendants, and too often we get pendants that don't have a chain and nobody wants to mess with it because it's too ha much of a hassle. Tammy was amazing. She found necklaces to go with all these. So she, we have chains and all these charms, and the charms are super cool. And again, you're not trying to invest in a bazillion dollars worth of diamonds or something. You just want something fun and sparkly to, I don't know, to enhance what you're wearing. So, hey, Jacob, how are you? Is it snowing up by you guys? Cold. It's chilly here, windy. We're hoping for snow. We're the only people in the world who hope for snow because we want to have some lovely moisture. Anyway, this is a gold tone chain, nice and lightweight, very delicate. And the charm is kind of a hmm, diamond shaped, but there are stripes of crystals and then the middle ones are amber colored crystals. Very pretty, I think, especially if you've got someone who likes those colors. That color looks good on Tammy. Anyway, <clears throat> we have another one, which is just a really fine, thin um, chain, but we have a super pretty little charm on it. So. Gold tone chain, pretty cold, but we got hardly a dusting of snow. Well, darn, shucks, if you're gonna be cold, you might as well have snow, right? <clears throat> anyway, this charm is just a solitaire. It's about a quarter inch around, and it's just super pretty. Um, it would look nice for someone's special occasion, graduation maybe from middle school, high school, something like that. <coughs> Excuse me. Brian, turn the heater on for me, it feels awesome. But now it's making me cough. Okay, this is a braided, twisted rope chain, gold tone. And the charm is kind of fun. It's a teardrop-ish, um, and then it has white crystals, and then the middle is a red crystal. 
I say crystal because it could be CZ. I cannot guarantee it. I am not that Jemmy Pro kind of person. Um, that would be Marsha. But uh, it's just pretty. And um, it would mark it a good, great occasion. We have another one. <clears throat> this is kind of fun. This chain is faceted plus links. So there are flatter pieces that shine. So it makes the chain very sparkly. Okay. Gold tone again. And then this is a looped cross. And the center stone is actually blue. So it's there are crystals around the cross. And the center stone is blue. So that's kind of cool. Um, this one is... I want to call it a snake ch um, chain. It's the kind that kind of almost looks like a tube, but it's a chain, silver tone. Lorena, how are you? I wonder if you got my message from um, uh, last week. I did send you some information on shipping. So this is a silver tone chain and it has a silver tone cross that is covered in little crystals. Very pretty. So again, if someone's having a first communion confirmation, um, Graduation kind of thing. This would be pretty. Not too expensive either. Easy to ship. Cheap to ship. Um, this is on a silver chain too. Again, it's a very fine um, snake chain, which I should probably come up with the correct term for that. Um, this is a uh, four-pointed diamond-ish style, but um, they're multicolored um, stones in the middle of the leaves and then there are crystals around it. So those multicolored ones have actually kind of like a green blue flair to them and then the rest have white or clear. Very pretty. Um, then we actually have more sets. We've got quite a few sets so they're inexpensive. Some have boxes with them still. Kind of like this one. So this is a silver chain. Um, they're kind of oval uh, shaped charms and they have a yellowish almost citrine color um, center. I wouldn't call them amber. They're more of a yellow and Tammy took gorgeous photos of all of these and they're online so you can see them. Like the cross with the blue center would you hold please? Yeah Dolores I'd be happy to. That's this little guy. I'm going to let you come in and look at it, just be sure, because, you know, I don't want you to get something you didn't like, but I will hold on to it for you. Um, this one is fun. We couldn't figure out how they did it, but the back is faceted as well as the front. So that's actually the back of it, and it's kind of got a cool faceted kind of thing going on. I'm not sure what, but the front is crystals and uh, kind of like a phoenix style and it's around a pearl-like stone. And again, because nobody remembers the history of any of these, we cannot guarantee the stones unless I took it to a um, jeweler, and I'm not doing that. Anyway, gold tone chain, very pretty, nice and lightweight. This is fun because it will pick up colors in anything you're wearing, so that's kind of fun. And it comes with earrings, and the earrings have those safety latches um, on the back, and they look like the charm. Very pretty. This would be fun for dressing up. One day, we will all dress up. Or we just dress up for no reason. We'll pick a day and tell everybody to dress up. Anyway, um, one more set that we have. This is a fine, um, dainty little uh, silver chain. And the charm is an oval pink crystal set in silver. Oh, wow. My hand is making it not be seen. Let's see. Can you see that? It's just a pretty pink, real pretty. Um, and the earrings are studs, and they're about um, two thirds of, I don't know, probably like five eighths of an inch. And they're the pink as well. Very pretty. And I have bags and bags more. We still have everybody else's that are still at the store too. Um, but we're making deals. So if you come in and you see something, these are all great prices to start with, so we won't be doing much of a deal on these. But, I mean, I'm talking, we have a whole other bag that I could go through. Um, so lots of jewelry still, and they make great gifts. And these gifts ship really well because they're lightweight and they won't cost you as much as the gift to ship. Um, 
So let me see what else we have going on. We still have our community support that we're doing for small businesses. So if you buy in town, if you're buying over the phone or you come into the store, you show me a receipt of somebody you purchased something from, like you had dinner at Christy Mays, or you um, got your hair cut by a local stylist, or you ended up um, going to a local bookstore or something like that. Bring us the receipt. We'll give you $5 off of a $10 or more purchase. That helps. We have our punch card still, so as you spend money, we punch your punch card. When it's full, it saves you $5 off a $10 or more purchase, so lots of ways to save money. And um, February is my five-year anniversary of having my store. What? Yes, it went fast. Um, even a pandemic year, which seemed to drag on forever, went fast. But <clears throat> February is my five-year anniversary, and uh, we're still kind of contemplating what we're going to do. My mom's cousin, Julie, gave me a grand idea of some really cute things we could give away. Um, but we're also trying to figure out how to do kind of a fun, I don't know, um, sale. So people are encouraged to come shop. Because we still have a slow sale, um, I guess, uh, uh, feeling going on. People are still nervous about going shopping, which I totally get. Um, you can shop online with us, and you can either pick up contactless at curbside, we are happy to deliver for free smaller items in town. Um, we do have shipping that I have to still kind of figure out on the web, but you can always call us 505-355-5979. Give us a shout. <clears throat> we'll help you with a purchase over the phone, figure out how to get things to you so you can stay safe, and um, we will work around that. Also, any furniture you have, if you're interested in selling it, give me a call, uh, email me, K-E-L-L-I at yourothercloset.com. Um, email me photos, maybe dimensions, and I can tell you yay or nay. And if I can't sell it, I typically will give you a referral to somebody else in town because if I'm not selling it, someone else should to help you out, okay? So we always try to provide that. Um, let's see, <clears throat> this week, I don't know. I am hoping for a little snow this evening. But my mom and everybody says, the weatherman says, no more snow, no more rain. Darn, just lots of wind, which is driving my allergies nuts. Um, shop's doing pretty well, though. We are pretty busy. We only have one or two appointments left available if someone needs an appointment for 20 pieces or more in the first quarter. That's January, February, March. Um, otherwise, we allow people to bring in up to three pieces on a Tuesday of their choice, anytime once per month. And that's like, oh, I found this really cool dress. It does not fit anymore. Can I bring it in? Sure. We are collecting spring right now. So no more winter. We're trying to sell it. We have over 100 really great winter jackets on sale, 50% off. We'll need the moisture, snow, and rain. I know. We totally need the moisture, Teresa. This is crazy. I was talking to someone up in Massachusetts. They're like, oh, we've had too much rain. I'm like, send it our way. We need the moisture. This wind is drying us out. Um, but yes, lots of great winter jackets still, a uh, hundred of them, a uh, hundred, yes, are on sale at 50% off. The rest are pretty much more like 20% or 10% off. So almost every jacket in the shop is on sale. Um, we still have some boots that are on sale. Uh, here your, oh yeah, you hear it. My nose is, my head is getting stuffed up. Uh, a bit drier makes, oh yeah. I think it feels cooler in the morning, especially when it's windy. And I get to work pretty quick. Um, anyway, um, so lots going on at the shop. This is my jewelry. I'm at home. Yes, I still have my Christmas tree up. Sorry, Christmas tree is still up. I even have my nativity scene up. I will show you my nativity scene. Please don't judge. <laughs> if you know me, I am quite open to a lot of things and I'm very eclectic. I have dinosaurs and aliens and monsters and Santa and animals and woolly mammoths and moose and birds and lizards in my nativity scene. I have the best barn because my father made it for me, but I'm going to show you our lovely nativity scene, okay? I've had this for a while and you, like everything else, we collect as we go. But <clears throat> this is my barn. In my nativity scene, Ryan has been setting it up every year now. He loves setting it up because he puts things in the craziest places and he expects me to change it. Um, 
Let's see. What can I show you? Well, I can show you my ceiling. There we go. All right. So those dogs represent the dogs that I've had that have passed away. Um, yes, we have camels. We have a wool mammoth. We have dinosaurs over there and trees. Um, more camels. We have, let's see, what else? Um, ostriches, turtles. Uh, we have a gorilla up top. Um, we have little, let's see, what do we have in there? Da da da. Lizards, the baby Jesus. I think somewhere, oh yeah, we have monsters and piglet. Monsters and piglet, there we go. <clears throat> and then I have very pretty china pieces that are my nativity set, but we added to them. We even have a car lot tree that flashes on and off. So, kind of crazy, I know. That's the way my family is. We like doing things a little out of the box, if you haven't noticed. Anyway, I love my barn. My barn was designed by my dad, and he's made barns for some other people, but I think mine's the best one so far. Tammy and Jim have a great barn. Theirs is bigger than mine. Mine is kind of small, but it has great pieces, and it's designed for my pieces. Um, anyway, that's it for the night, guys. That's all I got. I'm going to get some rest, start the week over, get a lot of stuff processed. Um, if you guys got any questions, give us a call, leave a message. I'm happy to um, reach out to you guys tomorrow if I can. Um, stay safe, please. Stay healthy. Look out for each other. Be kind. It's going to be a crazy week. You know that. So um, we'll see you soon. Stop by the shop or give us a, a shout. Bye, Lane. Thanks. Bye, Terry. Bye, Dolores. Bye, Jacob. Bye, Teresa. Thanks, guys.